hi beautiful people yesterday i got this in the mail it's a diamond art club and it's a painting i've been wanting to do for a long time now because actually it's one that i want to gift to my husband and my husband uh, will be 47 uh, the end of june so i might have to do this one really quick so i don't know if I will have the time but the one that I bought is I should take the plastic up first because you won't see Little Red Riding Hood by Jojo's Art and the fact that I want to gift it, it to him is because the picture reminded me a lot about his metal band and the name of his metal band. His metal band is called Klude and Klude is a sort of mythological being that was here in Belgium in the Middle Ages. So focus, thank you. So that's why I want to give it to him. I know this is actually the wolf of Little Red Riding Hood and she's so cute she's giving him a flower but <laughs> She says, why are you so angry? And she's giving him a flower. It's so sweet. But uh, yeah, this reminds me a lot of the mythological creature that my husband's band was named after. So I'm going to make this for his birthday and try to find a frame to put it in so he can put it in his um, recording studio once it's finished so yeah that's why so and uh, stick with me afterwards because um, I'm gonna tell you about the myth mythological creature it's really interesting it's uh, folklore from Belgium so if you're interested just check after this unboxing so I'm really curious to see this rendering of this painting because uh, it's a furry beast a furry beast and I'm curious how they did this to give the same fur-like, um, yeah, sorry, don't know what I'm saying, but I probably think you know what I mean, so it's always difficult to render fur. So this little sticker, you put it on your box when you want to stash it away, or you can keep it and put it somewhere else, I don't know. The walls, the doors, anywhere. Like my little girl, she does all the time. Stickers everywhere. You know when you eat apples and you have the stickers on the apple? Well, she puts them anywhere. <laughs> she's, she's cute like that. So this is the toolkit. You get a blue diamond painting pen. You get lots of baggies. This might be enough to put all your drills away you get a four placer that's really the good kind and this is around so this will work up very quick I hope two wax shaped hearts wax shaped heart shaped waxes yeah yeah bit, bit of dyslexia there a squishy a see-through boat and yeah that's it so that's the toolkit. These are very sturdy bags. I like to keep them for other stuff. But for now I put put this away. So I'm very curious about this rendering. Why am I singing? I don't know. So this is the bag. Oh, yeah, I dropped my knife. And I also want to say to you guys, thank you so much for answering, answering my question of the previous video. It's really sweet how you support me and how you um, answer me and, and I, I really love this community, it's really great. So, um, I will take out the drills first and roll the canvas back. Oh, it's not even necessary because it's only watch um it's only 40 by 55 so it will work up pretty quick i think and i think i will love the rendering it's actually 
the first one of the first works by um, by Jojo's art. I'm just gonna roll it just a little bit because you can do this because it's sports glue. There you have him. Yeah, I like this very much. I don't know. We will see how it is when the drills are put on. There are 32 colors. And it's all the same color range. And there are two ABs. An AB is a number smaller than 150. So the one and the two are ABs. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm excited for this one. And that's the first time I got the pre-cut legends. So these are pre-cut, so that's so easy. And you can uh, put down the start date and the end date. Really great. Yeah, I love this one very much. So I will tell you all about Clude after this one. So yeah, two ABs. Yay! Got a coupon code. There's a, yeah, that's a brochure with uh, the explanation how to diamond paint, which you will already know, all of you, I'm guessing. If not, there are many creators who have put up some lovely videos about starting to diamond paint. Let's check the drills. Whoops. First things first, we've got 433, always nice quality drills at Diamond Art Club. Two packages of 3371, two packages of 938, two packages of 310, one package 869. 732, 832, 300, 420, 3828, and we've got our first AB here. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It means that there's this special coating on the drills to make them shine. Look at how they shine. Beautiful. 834 and I'm sorry my nails are dirty I've been doing some housework and yeah <laughs> I forgot to clean them I should clean them 400 838 437 498 814 3855 782, 783, 436, 165, 117 with two um, wanderers. That's a lovely red. It's not too much red, but there is red in the canvas. And here's another wanderer. <laughs> 733. And we've got the second AB, and that's 135 just checking the difference this is the first time I actually see this one I believe it's like this light green so see the difference those are the yellow ones and this is light green it's really beautiful really beautiful 3826 seven, six, oh, six, seven, 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 four, four. Seven four four nine seven 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 three eight six 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 and thirty seven seventy six. So we will check where the ABs go, and I mentioned it's the one and the two. So let's check this out. Where here I see a little bit of ones here. I see twos here and here and here 
And here it's it's more in the sky. Some here. That's the background. Ah, and and uh, here are the ones. So here, oh here, all this is one 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 one. So there's really like um, a light shining down. So that's why they put them all here, I believe. And here. So yeah. It's it's pretty great. It's really strange now that you see it without the drills on it, but I believe when I once I put the drills on it, it will be great, I hope. Because it's actually a very detailed picture. So for this size, 40 by uh, 40 by 55, mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but it will work up quickly, so I can start this uh, somewhere in June and have it finished in time for his birthday. So, and I hope he will like it because he's not really into all this diamond painting stuff and so, but this would be neat, wouldn't it? It, it reminds me of his band. So, so, and I will tell you all about that in just a moment. Stick with me, I will turn the ca camera around and we will chat a little bit. I might do it with a voiceover because um, meanwhile I'm gonna diamond paint and then I can read to you because it's a very long explanation. So I have it on my cell phone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just a minute. Hi beautiful people, I'm back again just with a, a little voiceover to my video clip while working on my Josephine wall to explain to you what kind of mythological creature Clude is. We say Clude, um, I know it's maybe a little bit difficult to pronounce Clude. <laughs> Clude. So Clude is actually a water demon and it's um, yeah, a Belgium uh, creature so I found some description on the internet about Clude, so that's what I'm going to read to you right now. So Clude usually appears in the shape of a monstrous black dog, sometimes winged, and he walks on its hind legs. So it can also assume the shape of a huge hairy black cat, a half-starved horse, a frog, a snake, a bat, or a large black bird such as a crow or a raven. And the creature also takes on more unusual forms for a road bogey such as that of a tree, a shrub or even a human being. So it was really difficult to know when Clude was coming. The only thing people could recognize when Clude was hiding somewhere was um, the rattling of his chain and that's a well-known saying uh, Clude and his Kate that means um, Clude and his chain so that was the only way uh, people were aware that he was out there somewhere and it was a chain hanging on his ankle on one of his uh, ankles and um, because its appearance was amorphous and it could take a, a variety of shapes Clude's true form was unknown and they don't even know if it had a true form but it was subscribed as a water demon and other times they would say he was like a demon that escaped from hell and was here on earth to uh, prank people or even kill people. Um, he is often described as a werewolf or even a manifestation of the devil. So uh, Clude was a shapeshifter and he could take so many different forms depending on what he wanted to do with you or um, if it only was to play pranks on humans. He could disappear and reappear at will to surprise his victims and run at sub that's really important supernatural speeds to catch up with people who try to run away from it. So escaping from Clude was nearly impossible because he could run so fast that you could run away there was nothing you could do and um, when he was attacking he could change his shape or he could um, change his um, 
its height and its weight so um, that's why I particularly love the wolf on that diamond painting because the wolf is so huge so I can imagine that's a way that Cluedo would, would come to um, whoever he wanted to have in his possession. So um, whatever form he was in, he was capable of speech. That's really bizarre. <laughs> and um, he was especially a trickster spirit. So although his tricks, they were like simple mischief or he could just murder someone. So Cluedo was set to hide in the twilight of dawn and sunset. And he would attack innocent travelers and they would listen for the only sound that betrayed him namely the rattling of the chains and um, the faster people started walking the faster this monster followed so he could really outrun you there was nothing you could do and there's um, also a saying that he can be um, seen with blue flames and they fro they floated of in front of him or in its eyes and uh, when he appeared as a horse uh, he was like this starving horse and he would sometimes take people for a ride and when they got on the horse um, he would go take the the people on a ter terrifying ride and um, it was more in this form he was more like a prankster so he would release his victims by throwing them into a pool of water and then he would laugh at their misfortune <laughs> so yeah that was his prankster form um, and in some of them he was really murderous like he would come out of the water and especially after children he would drop them in in um, the water so it's really not clear what kind of type of demon it was if but um, yeah it was really an awful spirit sometimes he would change himself into a tree and he would confuse people or yeah or be become a shrub so people wouldn't know what was happening and um, he could even become a human and then go into people's houses and uh, I don't know whatever he did there but yeah and um, he would also transform himself into a wolf that would jump on your back some say it was a sick animal so when you carry them on your back he would get heavier and bigger and and that to exhaust you and eventually kill you so um, he was most malicious when he was in the form of a black dog or a wolf yeah sometimes he is depicted as a wolf sometimes as a dog I will put in some pictures um, no I cannot put in pictures because yeah I will put in pictures I will I will <laughs> so um, then he was really capable of doing people really harming people he would walk alongside people uh, on a road of a or a path and then before jumping onto their backs and crushing them yeah so and what where am I sometimes it would kill the victim but at other times was satisf satisfied by the fear it created and disappeared leaving the person shaken but unharmed at other times it would stand on its hind, hind legs rising up until it could tear out a victim's throat only the coming of daybreak or the, or the sound of a church bell could drive Cluedo off and save the victim from a gruesome death so yeah that's a Belgium um, <laughs> a Belgium water demon um, they also say that um, when you run away from him and he could run after you easily 
So the only hope that you had was throwing out a handkerchief at him. And that could save your life because he was so intrigued with the handkerchiefs, he had no other choice. He had to rip them apart fiber by fiber. So that was actually the only thing that you really could do. Um, they also say that um, he was spawn from the cremated, cremated bodies of witches and wizards. So, And some say that when you would kill him, seven would come um, out of the corpse. And he liked to play dangerous games. So, and, and jumping on people, that was one of the games he played the most. And that is most known. Um, he used to live in... Um, he used to live like he was real. No. <laughs> he was said to be found in the reeds, under bridges and inside hollow trees. And they call him Kluder because of the shouting of his name. He was always shouting his own name. He made the noise Kluder, Kluder, Kluder. And the birds would like, Kluder, Kluder, you know. <laughs> I don't know. That's maybe where it comes from. Um, they say he used to live in the Dender. That's a river. Um, but the civilians of Aalst, you know, I told you about Aalst and the carnival. They managed to chase him off to Dendermonde. And um, that's unlikely because actually he was known in a much more uh, wider area than uh, only uh, Aalst or Dendermonde. But it was really in Aalst that there was lots of talking about Klude. And um, yeah, that's why uh, my husband chose that name for the band or I don't know if he chose it or they did it together or I don't know but anyway it's a good name for a metal band don't you think so um, I don't know if we have other uh, typical uh, folkloric beings but that's one of the most well known and the pictures uh, I came across are really horrendous so <laughs> Actually, the picture of the diamond painting is is pretty good, pretty good. Um, if I when I see this picture, I can imagine myself that it could be Clude, and the little girl. Or oh, I'm I feel so sorry for her. Or maybe she is also a shapeshifter and there to kill Clude. You never know. So yeah, that's what what I found on the internet about him. Most of the things are written in, in Dutch, but I found some of them written in English, so that's why I wanted to read it to you, just to learn a little bit more about Belgium and its beliefs. So, and I think actually that Kluder was invented to keep people from going to um, the meadows at night, especially in the dark, because there were lots of, um, how do you say it, like pirates, but on land. Um, robbers? Much robbery going on when someone was traveling from one, one um, place to the other. And that's actually how the legends of the werewolf started. Because some of them would uh, hide under a wolf skin. And they would jump on people, they would uh, scare people and then uh, run off with their uh, money or what have you that they had on them. So, yeah. And I'm, pre I'm, I'm really interested in the legend of werewolves. I really love it. So, I think this diamond painting is really, can be a representation of a werewolf or of Kluder. So, that's why I want to give it to my husband for his birthday <laughs> let's hope he likes it <laughs> so that was it just a short myth and legends and um thank you so much for lis listening if you listened uh this to this little story and i hope you have a fabulous day thank you so much if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.